AI is pushing brain computer interfaces from science fiction into something real, something useful. At the core, BCIs do three things. They decode intent, those tiny electrical signals firing in your brain. They restore function, speech, movement, communication, and they create a new control layer, machines operated by pure thought. The breakthrough is not the hardware alone. The breakthrough is AI. Neural signals are messy, noisy, full of chaos. Deep learning models clean them up, interpret them, and map them into meaningful actions. Who's leading the charge? Neuralink, the surgically implanted high bandwidth interface. Precision neuroscience, less invasive, peel and stick electrode arrays. Synchron, the endovascular approach that enters through blood vessels, no, no open surgery. Blacklock Neurotech, the veterans of medical grade, neuroprosthetics, cortex pyrodromics, and rune labs, each building air layers for decoding movement, speech, and mental states. And all of them rely on one key idea. AI is the translator between neurons and the outside world. What's possible today? A person with paralysis controlling a cursor with thoughts. Another generating synthesized speech from neural activity. Someone sending a tweet literally from the mind. What's coming by 2030? Non-surgical BCIs that are consumer ready. Thought to text at smartphone typing speeds. AI driven prosthetics that adapt in real time like extensions of your own body. And 2035? brain that works as an input device, silent communication, sharing intent without typing or speaking, continuous neurological monitoring, catching diseases years before symptoms appear. We are nowhere close to mind reading or uploading consciousness. That's fantasy. But AI powered BCIs are doing something far more important. They're restoring ability, enhancing human control and redefining how we interact with technology using nothing but thought. This is the next interface after touch, voice and vision.